Ever wanted to break scratch? I'll show you how to cause minor damage to major destruction to breaking your entire project. And I'll be combining all of them into one project at the end, so stick around and watch the whole video. Also, never do this on a project you care about, because you'll, you'll lose it. Let's get smashing. Okay, let's start with some minor damage. Okay, so scroll to my blocks, and then make a block, and then just put a percent sign in. Click OK, and you can't. Mmm. So if you click cancel, look at your blocks. There's nothing there. They're all bunched up together. So you can fix this by going to costumes, then go back to code, and it fixes itself. And there's another thing you can do with custom blocks. We can make a block, delete all the text, and put nothing in it. Make it blank. Click OK, and you've got this. It's like a half of a block. Weird. But it gets better. Try and add a comment to it. You can't. Try to do stuff. Go to costumes tab. Try to fix that. And it crashes. You can't add a comment to these half blocks. Okay, so we've already crashed scratch. But let's up the damage with some hacked blocks. So all you need to do is get an empty project. You don't want to break anything. Drag a when green flag click block, or any block really. Then click File, Save to your computer, and it will save a SB3 file. In your Downloads folder should be this file. Rename it from .sb3 to zip. Then click Yes. Then we can extract it by right-clicking, click Extract All, and then Extract, delete the zip file, and then open this folder. A scratch project is just a zip file. And then we've got the sprites, the sounds, the stage, and we've got our JSON file, which has our blocks. Open it. You can literally open it in anything, even Notepad. So you zoom in Notepad, then scroll down, see this opcode event when green flag clicked? That's our when flag clicked block here. Go back to your Notepad, change this to whatever you want. Say like hacked block lol save it. Then go to your folder and then we want to go back see this folder right click send to compressed zip folder and then change the dot zip to sb3 back to a scratch project. And then we can file load from your computer the scratch project Replace the contents, yes. And then we get this red block. It's a hacked block. It doesn't do anything, but it looks mysterious. And if we try to add a comment to it, guess what? It crashes it. Oops, something went wrong. Here's how to disable comments on your Scratch project instead of just clicking that button. <laughs> so we do a when flag clicked, broadcast a message, Let's make a new message. You know you can just make messages just a space. <laughs> then when we receive this, we broadcast it again. But first we stop other scripts in this sprite. Then also we get another when I receive that blank message. Ask nothing. Okay, I shared the project. Let's try to comment. Click the flag. Yeah, you can't actually... You can't write a comment. <laughs> this happens because the it's just putting it in this input field here instead of the comment box, and it's constantly getting a new ask box. Or you could just turn commenting off, which probably would be better, but... <laughs> Enough messing around. Let's crash this project. Make a new variable. You can just use a space as a name. It won't work. But if you use this zero width joiner character, copy, it looks like a space, but it'll actually work. <laughs> set this to anything you want. It just has to not be empty. So set it to crash. And then forever set our variable to join the empty thing and this. Let's save and run this thing. It looks like nothing is happening. 
because it's gonna crash soon. Oops, something went wrong. <laughs> Here's another crash. So, Scratch puts the when I start as clone, create clone of myself, and delete this clone all together. So it would make sense that you could just drag them and do this. But click on it, and it freezes the project. And this is a worse type of freeze. It's doesn't even show you that blue screen. Yeah, my browser is actually telling me to stop the page because it's slowing down Firefox. Oof. Now let's put all of this together. Five, four, three, two, one. So now you know never to put these blocks together. But you know what you should do? You should check out this video over here where I react to some of my old Scratch games. It's a pretty good video if I must say myself.